Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Indai RN, your nurse in charge. And on this video, we are going to talk about the nursing test taking strategies. And we have 10 strategies to share on this video. So you should count this in and put these things in your heart. I'm going to share to you the 10 list of the most commonly asked questions about critical thinking. Taking the NCLEX has never been easy, and we should know the art of critical thinking. From the time when we went to our orientation as brand new nursing students, we already heard the word critical thinking. The critical thinking consists of a lot of abstract definition to an abstract concept. So without further ado, here's a brief overview on how are we going to skillfully answer nursing exams examinations or nursing questions. Number one in the list is you should know your priorities. Knowing your ABC, airway, breathing, and circulation. When figuring out how to prioritize your answer choices, remember always the ABC and airway is always the priority unless you are doing the CPR wherein we are going to reverse the C into A. C A B compressions, airway, and breathing. The next one is closed-ended words versus open-ended words. Closed-ended words like always, never, every, none, all, and only often mean a definite or fixed meaning. Eliminate these answer choices using some keywords, okay, which deems them to be incorrect. Meanwhile, in the open-ended words, such usually, commonly, normally, and generally are possible correct options. The third one is the comparable or alike options, or the same, same, or opposite attract. When answering multiple choices questions, remember that opposite always attracts. Two opposite but related answer choices will yield one correct answer if related to the question. When reading comparable alike answer choices, if one is wrong, the other one will also be wrong. Therefore, you should eliminate them both. This can be tricky, so stay alert for keywords to keep help determine what the question is asking and what can be eliminated. So, if there is already same choices yielding one idea, remove them and remain or choose your answer in the two opposite choices. The next one is the Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs Theory, wherein there is a saying goes that physiological needs are over psychological needs. So, physiological needs are our priority, then safety and security. Always remember that whenever we answer choices, we always consider the A, B, C first, air, as airway is our priority. But if there is not in the answer choices addressing A, B, C, you should go directly to patient safety because patient safety is our priority, okay? I have a video already presented in that A, B, C considering also the patient safety. You can check this video. The fifth one is to consider the steps of the nursing process, wherein we are going to utilize the nursing process when prioritizing. The nursing process helps us actually how to prioritize the immediate and initial or first actions. The assessment here is the first step, then the nursing diagnosis, then to the planning, the implementation until we're going to see if our implementations are, are properly executed. So if you can see already an assessment inside the question, and if you can see already a diagnosis, proceed to the planning. If there's planning already also, proceed to your implementation. Always assess the question first. In the NCLEX questions or in any nursing examinations, the heart of your score is depending on how are you going to see the question, okay? So if you are not able to see that the question is already telling you that there is assessment and you choose the choices with assessment, of course, it's already automatically wrong, okay? You should know know the nursing process in order for you to get the right answer. The next strategy is have the strategic keywords. Subjects from the scenario in the questions like gender, age, procedures, diagnostic tests, laboratory values, medications, disease processes, or specific signs and symptoms. What do I mean here in the strategic keywords? Even though that choices is saying the most difficult diagnosis, 
do not consider it. Go directly to the strategic keywords that is there in the question matching to the choices, okay? Always consider these strategic keywords that will affect your choices. What I'm saying here is that it is not always the most difficult disease will be our priority. That depends on the situation, okay? And you should know the specific keywords from the question matching to the choices. The next one is subject of the question. Identify exactly what is the question is asking. So you should know what is really the topic of the question. This will help you in the elimination process of incorrect choices. So for example, you were able to determine the hot topic in the question, then eliminate those choices that are not related to the question. The next one is therapeutic communication techniques. Answer choices that focus on thoughts, feelings, concerns, anxieties, fears, patients, family, or significant others. Why? Because in the medical field or in the nursing field, we always prioritize patient-centered care. The next one is you should consider the umbrella option. A broad universal statement that usually contains the concepts of the other answer choices within it. So if you were able to see that option D is also saying what is in option A, B, or C, then consider it as an umbrella option and that is the, the best choices. And the last strategy, or we may consider it as the first one, is to pray and believe. Believe in your skills, believe in your dreams, and believe that you will be able to pass the examination. Remember this verse, and right now, I'm congratulating you. Congratulations and grab your license. If you need some help in nursing examinations, you can check the other videos that I have on this channel. And of course, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. If you guys need some help again in nursing topics or if you have some difficulties in nursing, you can comment your problem down below and maybe I can help you. So thank you so much guys for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share this video to your friends. See you on my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.